A scathing report out tonight involving the Bernalillo County Treasurer's Office. An audit just released shows two county leaders may have cost taxpayers $900 million. Target 7's Nancy Laughlin is here with more on this developing story. Well, that report from the state auditor says the former county treasurer and the man who succeeded him may have abused that office so badly it cost taxpayers millions. Now they're checking to see if what those men are accused of was illegal, too. State Auditor Hector Baldetta says his staff spent a year investigating the county and what they found was alarming. The audit says former Bernalillo County Treasurer Patrick Padilla hosted golf tournaments to raise money for his election. It says Padilla may have steered county business investments to brokers if they donated to him. The audit also found Padilla and his staff on county time. He had them run personal errands for Padilla and his family. The state auditor says the man who succeeded Padilla, Manny Ortiz, also had some pretty shoddy business dealings, too. The state auditor says because of those poor financial decisions, the county had to sell investments and lost more than 17 million bucks. Taxpayer investments need to be uh, conducted in a way that truly benefits the taxpayer, and there needs to be enough money to pay the bills for the county. So this is an alarming uh, trend that needs to be stopped immediately. Now, again, Baldetta is saying this is very serious. He has turned this audit over to the Attorney General and the State Securities Division to see if there are any criminal charges. We did hear from county commissioners who say they knew there were some financial issues, but were very surprised about the $900 million figure. Back to you. Current Treasurer Manny Ortiz issued a statement saying his office continues to improve to make sure it is in line with county and state policies, adding, we continue to strive to ensure that the Treasurer's office provides customer service and accountability with professionalism, promptness, and accuracy. We'll hear from Patrick Padilla at 10. A 15-year-old boy.